welcome back to my channel welcome to today's vlog i'm starting the vlog off in the afternoon today because it's almost lunchtime, and matt and i are gonna do a little fun picnic lunch and i thought it would be fun this would be like a great social distancing quarantine date idea <laughs> if you live with your significant other and can actually see them um and if you don't i'm so sorry that must be awful <laughs> so i thought i would get started by packing our little picnic basket Ooh, but first I'm 30 weeks today, so it is time. We are almost in single digits. That's so exciting. Push you guys back a little bit so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. This is our super cute little picnic basket. This was actually a wedding gift from my cousins McKenna and Peyton, and I love it so much. And we don't get to use it very often, so I'm really excited. Um, and I'm just gonna kinda load it up with some stuff. First of all, I made homemade lemonade, which is so exciting and so happy. I used a Chick-fil-A copycat recipe, and it was five cups of water and one cup of sugar. And you like did that over the stove until all the sugar dissolved. And you added one and a half cups of lemon juice, and it is so, so good. So I'm gonna put this in some little individual mason jars so we can drink it. There's all this like cute little serve wear in here too but i'm actually not going to use it i'll bring the plates normally i would like put together a charcuterie board um for this but i actually found these on imperfect and they look like way less work and i'm pregnant so <laughs> i found these little roth cheese tray things so i'm gonna pack these and then i'm gonna pack like a cute little wooden cutting board to put them on to make it look like i did more work than i did <laughs> this one's my favorite i got it at a thrift store and it's so cute got some little cuties so we have something semi-nutritional in here and then i also made lemon bars actually like a week ago but they're still doing good i'll show you these are from the first joanna Gaines cookbook not the new one that just came out but they're really really good this is what our little picnic basket looks like so far one thing that I always like to bring to like cute little picnics is my Polaroid camera. I feel like it makes a really cute photo prop and also um, then I can capture the memories. So I'm just gonna put this in here. Making some PB&J, most classic picnic food of all. It's such a beautiful day out. It's like sunny and 65. And I really wanted to ride our bikes um, to this, but the nice walk is actually turning out to be very pretty because if you saw my last vlog, you'll know that my bike tire did not fare so well. <laughs> so you didn't need to, but it hasn't come yet. Cutie patootie. This is the little spot we chose. Got all these cute little dandelions on the ground. And nice shade, and a little outlet to the creek, which is so cute. And this is like not that far from our apartment. So nice. So now we're gonna get set up. Okay, we're all set up. This is what we got going on. Lemonade. I honestly think like the biggest part of having a cute picnic is having like cute little things to put things in. So we've got a little cheese board, which didn't fit on this, so I put the lemon squares on here. Oranges. Cutest husband in the whole I world. I think the most important part about picnic is the food. <laughs> I said having a cute picnic. Oh, oh, <laughs> go ahead. What? I just want to take a Polaroid, but you can go ahead. <laughs> you think I'm so ridiculous. Okay, okay. Yay! I figured out how to self-time it. So we actually got a picture of the two of us, which is so fun. downloaded this heads up game so we're gonna try it we probably should have brought like something to play but this will be fun um you take this name brand drug when you have really bad allergies but it makes you sleepy benadryl yeah <clears throat> uh this is a brand of cereal Kellogg's. yeah <laughs> um 
Uh, orange soda. Fanta. Mm -mm. Sunny D. Uh, close, you got the first half of the word right. Sunny Delight. Mm -mm. It's first three letters. Sun kiss. Yeah. <laughs> died um, while we were doing our picnic and I was like I need to finish out this vlog what's something fun we could do and I talked Matt into <laughs> letting me cut his hair so that's what we're gonna do today I've never cut hair before I used to cut like my own bangs so that's something um, and I've got a tutorial I'm following I'll link it below hopefully it doesn't turn out terribly Aeon if you're watching this I miss you <laughs> I'm gonna do great I have faith. Mm, your hair isn't that long, actually, for me to even really need to do that. I mean, you should still be able to see, like, the line, so. Yeah. Like, the part, especially. Like, which one's the four? They're on the right side of the spray bottle. Okay, how do I attach it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> I promise it's gonna be fine. You're really high. Can you sit on a, on a lower chair? Yeah. Yeah! Okay. You'll still love me no matter what happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not hearing anything. Yeah, neither am I. I'm being really, uh... It's all well, what it is. It's probably my hair is not even half an inch long on that side. Really? Well, it's a little bit of a Yeah, you got up here, though. Like, you see how my, the longer hair up here is falling over the yeah. part? You want to get this wet and then comb the part so that okay. all the long hair stays on the top. Okay, I can do that. Easy, easy on the water though. Oh, it's so cold. Sorry. So does that mean I need to use a shorter one because your hair is not long Probably. Enough? Okay. If you mess up, we've had a good ride. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. That making a drastic difference or just Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely cutting. Cool. Okay, feel that length. Does that feel way too long to you? Yeah, that's pretty long. I mean, like, you know what it feels like when it's like the scratchy, scratchy kind okay, of a well, deal. Okay, well, let me, let yeah, me do start. It with this first, and then if it goes well, maybe I'll go shorter. Well, you need to start with that if you're going to fade it in. Yeah. Just so you know, this is going really well so far. I won't pass judgment until I see it. Did she, like, brush you with anything to get the hair to... Yeah, I mean, you could comb it away. I feel good about this. I feel like this is going well. can't believe I'm letting you do this. Quarantine, baby. This, um... Tutorial that I'm following is from Kim Kardashian's hairstylist. So you're gonna look like Kim Kardashian when this is over. Great. That's what I've always wanted. <laughs> this one's scary. <laughs> Pretty close, huh? Yeah. Oh! That's a friend. That's what you want to hear. No, 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 I'm sorry. I just flipped a bunch of hair on myself. Everything's fine. <laughs> I thought about, like, what if I was just like, oh, babe, I messed up. But then I thought that would be way too mean. Doing great, baby. You're so nice. <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. Like genuinely, I think I'm doing pretty good. It's not gonna be, you know, as tight a fade as you normally have, but I think given the circumstances. Just make sure there are no lines. This is scary. I agree. Ah, my eyebrow. Wait. I'm being very conservative with how much I take off. Excellent. <laughs> also, if you feel like I'm about to do something wrong and you're like, nervous about it, let me know. Terrible, because if you make it too short, right where like the origin of the spiral is, it'll stick up, like no matter what Still I do with it. Still about that. That's, that's too short? That's probably okay. Okay. You could probably go a little bit shorter if you need to. Mm, no. If we're in the territory of you could probably, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Not yet anyway. Sorry. Do you, I mean, does it need to be cut like, like this part back here? I mean, it all needs to get cut a little bit. But I have no idea what goes on back there. Looks like I need to blend more right yeah, here. Yeah, you definitely got a line going right there. You don't have to worry about hurting the comb with the clippers. Oh, I'm not. This is a picture day comb. Okay, so all I just did just now was this little tiny triangle right here. I just want you to look at it and tell me if I did it right. I just did, like, right here. Is that better than it was? Yeah. Okay. And you clean up that line really well. It's a little bit 
different trying to communicate to you what I feel, normally don't see too much of. How much are you cutting off? Probably not even a half of it. Uh, it doesn't feel like much. You could probably go more if it's going to okay. be easier for you. Well, I wanted to try the first line and like brush it out and see like how it blended just to make sure I'm blending it okay, which it looks like I am. Somebody that follows me is going to be a hairdresser and they're going to be like, oh God! Yeah. <laughs> camera died but we're back. Shut up please. Oh I'm just I'm sleeping because this is taking so long. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to mess it up. I love you. Bumping me with that belly. <laughs> you know it's like I don't know where I is not anymore. Sorry the scissors aren't very sharp. Well no they're 10 to 20 years old. Okay do you feel like that needs to be way shorter? It feels okay. Yeah it doesn't feel bad at all. Kind of feels like it's supposed to. Yeah. What will really be revealing is after I shower and I style it, and you can look at it and see where everything's supposed to go and be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Working from home five days out, six days out of the week, I'm not styling my hair anyway, so. Right. It's going to be very merciful. Okay, I'm gonna uh, try to tighten up just like the bottom couple inches here because I feel like it's still way too long. Yeah, usually she's like bare blade on the bottom. Sorry. Oh yeah, that's way better. You're a little nick. I'm sorry. Like you cut me? No, just like I got it a little too short right there and there's gonna be a little patch. Best to leave it. Yeah. I I wondered when I felt that. I was like, that was a little high. Yeah, that was that was my bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. The rest of it looks great. <laughs> there's just one spot where you look like you're balding. Your team has been. It's okay. That's what you wanted, right? That's exactly what I wanted. Oh shoot, I feel like I almost did it perfectly. <laughs> Got a little aggressive there, huh? That's okay. You won't be able to tell in like three days. Yeah, that's true. I should have filmed like a before shot of what your hair looked like. I think it'll be pretty noticeable. No, okay. Do you wanna do you wanna kinda do a, a peek through and see if there are any spots you feel like need to be redone or gone over? I won't be offended if you're picky. I'm obviously very new at this, so it's not something I expect to be perfect at right away. No, I feel like it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, it's a fade. Let me, I'm gonna show you the one little spot I nicked because I feel like that's the only place I really like this. Okay. Oh, uh, right that's, that's fine. Not a big deal? I don't even care. Okay. Well, cool. I think we're done then. Do you want to attempt the hard part or do you want to? You um, explain to me enough? what the hard part is. It's literally just cutting a line with the bare blades. Sure. Like, and it has to be straight. That's yeah. the important <laughs> part. It's, it's kind of a defining thing because I'm going to, you know, use that to part just where I style from, so. It's pretty obvious where it was. Yeah, it looks good. I'll yeah. clean that up. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a great part. Overall, how do you think I did? I think you did great. Okay. I get this cleaned up and then I'll show you guys what everything looks like. So this is the aftermath. <laughs> kind of got hair everywhere. Especially <laughs> all over the ground. But I think I did okay. So this is the finished product. Wish I had a before shot, but doesn't he look so cute? I think I did an okay job. Yeah, you look really cute. It's a haircut. <laughs> yes, it is. I love you. All right, I need to go change because I'm covered in hair. Actually, I should show you because it's really funny. I don't know how well you can see, but I'm just covered in hair. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go change. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys my Animal Crossing Island because this was very stressful and that is very nice and calming. <laughs> I also just got these in the mail from Saturday Skin, which I'm so excited about. These were gifted. Um, they sent the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream and then the Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. And I just think Saturday Skin has the cutest packaging. This is a big thing of eye cream and I desperately needed a new one because my dark circles are so bad. All right, I am all changed and I'm gonna show you guys my little Animal Crossing village. I don't know if this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are playing as much Animal Crossing as I am during this quarantine, but it is truly just the most precious, wholesome, calming game, which is what I need right now after all that adrenaline. So I'll just show you guys like my house and my little outfits. Um, because I've been loving seeing what other people are doing with their islands. 
I'm also eating goldfish, which is reminding me of my first trimester because that's like literally all I ate when I was feeling nauseous. You can see my little tripod here. <laughs> Hi. My little KK slider is holding this little concert. So cute. Okay, so this is my little house. It's very cute. I have a cute little flower garden in the front and then my backyard has a little like clothesline and a tree. There's Goldie in the back. She's my favorite character. Um, I'm still in my pajamas right now, so I need to change, but I'll show you guys all my outfits. I've got my little patio area all set up. I need to dig up this fossil. And we've got the beach. I'll show you guys the inside of my house. Hopefully you can see this okay on the camera. So this is my little living room. I love the Monstera and the diffuser and the macrame tapestry and the record player. I just feel like it's very on brand. I have it like fully upgraded finally, which is exciting. And this is my little bedroom, which I really love a lot. I'll show you guys my outfits while I'm here. Um, I put my character in her pajamas before I sign off for the night usually. So this is my like everyday outfit with this cute little sunflower dress. And then if it's raining, I wear my little rainy day outfit. And I've got my pajamas. And then all of these other ones are just like miscellaneous outfits. I've got this one with the little graphic t-shirt. I've got this one, which is very like fall. I think it'll be really cute in the fall. This one is like a sweater and jeans kind of a deal. This one's like <laughs> 60s inspired. And then this one's a little bit more preppy. But mostly I just wear that one. I'll show you guys my other rooms really quick. I really should be like screen recording this somehow, but I don't know how to do that. So here's my little kitchen. Got a nice espresso machine, cute kettle. And then we've got the bathroom over here. And then my attic and my basement like aren't really finished yet. Um, Cause I upgraded them the most recently and I don't have all the furniture I want, but I made the basement like a little <laughs> home gym. And then this is the attic. I didn't really know what to do with this, so I just put like all the random like toys and stuff. So it's like kind of like a playroom, I guess. Um, but I'll probably do something else with this eventually, but I just stuck some stuff in here for now. So yeah, that's my little Animal Crossing house. I hope that was interesting. If you guys want to be my friend, um, DM me on Instagram and I'll send you my little like switch friend code so we can visit each other's islands. But I think that that's gonna be the end of this vlog. <laughs> I know it's kind of like a mishmash of totally random stuff, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I really appreciate you watching. It really honestly means the world to me that you guys watch my vlogs because I love vlogging and like when I was new on YouTube, like obviously nobody would like watch my vlogs and so it's cool that like you guys care and you want to see what we're doing and you know even if it's just random shenanigans I have a lot of fun making these videos <laughs> I'm gonna go make some lunch but I love you guys a lot and I'll see you all with my next video bye